What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero. And Lizzie. And welcome back to Let's Play Normal 2 Goodbye to Despair. In the last episode, we started exploring the fifth yeah, island. Yeah, we saw the military place. Um, it's the final island, yeah, too, right? Yeah, the final island. Yeah, so we took, the, or we took a look at the military base. There's an interesting document there. Yeah, a document that Sonya found. That yeah. had, like, Monokuma's face on it and the Future Foundation, so we're kind of confused. Mm -hmm. Not 100% sure what's going on, but now we're going to take a look at what else the island has to offer. Right, <gasps> to Wait, we need to check on our pet! I was just about to say we need to check on our pet. Okay, what's going on with our pet? Oh my gosh. Do we have a new one? Oh no, we Lots still Lots of despair, zombie. though. Yeah, no kidding. I want to I want to get a new one. I know. You know, I, we don't need you anymore, Usami. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. Yeah, I don't know how we get a new one. Whoa. Whoa, what? That eye. Whoa. That red eye looks so cool. What is this? The factory. factory. Let's do it. Let's head on in. I'm excited. What's going on in the factory? That looks so cool. Plushy it's factory. a plushy factory. Yo, this is where we can make up for all of the previously <gasps> missed Monokuma plushies. Oh my gosh, of course Donami would be here. Of course Donami would be with all the plushies. White smoke is billowing from the building in the back. Is this some kind of factory? It's only called the factory. But if it's got Monokuma's face on it, I'm sure it's a shady factory anyway. Hinata. Good point. Ah, Hinata, good timing. What's up, Nanami? Hora. This building clearly looks suspicious, right? I was thinking it might be good if I thoroughly look around inside, but... I can't find an entrance. Yeah. Since it's cl it clearly looks suspicious, I thought it'd be dangerous to go alone. It's dangerous so, to go take alone! take this! <laughs> I thought you were gonna sync up with me. Oh, no. It's dangerous to go alone, take this! Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a song about the original like, phrase. Oh, okay. Ninja Starbomb? I've shown you. I'm sure you have. I've shown, shown you multiple times. Things. Okay. Uh, what's it? Yeah, it's like, oh. I forget what it's called, but it's like with Eagle Raptor and everything. Oh, you definitely have showed me this. Yeah. Star Bomb, I think, but. Then, do you want to go inside together? Hey. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't say okay. Why are you hesitating? Yeah, why is oh, she hesitating? Hinata, did you piss Nanami off? Is she suspicious? All right, let's see here. Is there a Monokuma plushie? I'm excited. I want to take a look at this moving part of the Monokuma factory. Yeah, I feel, I feel like, like it would like totally appear underneath it. If it's gonna be anywhere, I feel like it would be there. But I don't see it. Yeah. Not that that doesn't mean we haven't like missed them before when they we were, like, were intentionally in looking for them anyways. But I don't see one. I don't one. see one though. I don't see one. It's probably in the factory somewhere. Okay, if we can even go in the factory. Yeah, that's true. What is this? Factory. The factory. All right, then I'm going inside. Okay, it's oh. been decided, I guess. Oh, I wanted to go inside of Nanami, though. Wait, what? A yo, I bet you one of these is it. Yeah, probably. What the heck is this? There's a music change, though. No. Well, what was being manufactured one after the other and being carried away on a conveyor belt was. Monokuma. I'm pretty sure it's just plushies. And I think that's what we're gonna have to figure out. One of these has got to be it. I think go to the turn to the right. Are they being interesting? So they take the trees and then they like cut them up and then they like turn them into Monokuma and then like make them taller. Yeah, interesting. Oh, there's Nanami. Okay, go to the go to the right. I know, I know. There's a big pile. Oh, okay. I think there's a there's like a Monokuma that looks slightly different on top of the pile. I think that's it. This one. Yeah. Yeah, probably. It's got its power glove. I know. <laughs> oh, we have so many coins. We should spend those off yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off screen. Okay. Well, I guess all we really have to look at is the manufacturing or manufacturing equipment. The conveyor belt is endlessly moving through this enormous machine. Look at all that code. Oh, yeah. The coconut tree carried by the conveyor belt is processed and eventually made into this stupid thing. Dang, you mad, bro? <laughs> you mad, bro? All right, let's see what Nanami has to say about it, though. Apparently not a lot. She's just blankly staring at the machine. Looks like she's taking it back, too. Well, that's obvious, I suppose. Watching simple machines like this reminds me of games. Games? Like this one game where you just put caps on pens. Or another game where you try and guess a person's gender. Huh? Hmm. I feel like there's some sort of reference I know, there. there has to be some sort of reference. It's gonna be some sort of reference. But I can't think of it. <laughs> uh, you can't think of it, I can't think of it. <laughs> Is that even fun? Okay, well... Honestly, I think... Okay, oh, we can, at least, we can look at this pile. Thing. The basket. 
The Monokums are being tossed in this gigantic basket one after the other. They better not be real. Picked one up with my hand. I see, so these are plushies. No. No. Monokuma plushies. Ah, uh, the real Monokuma is sort of like a plushie too. But unlike him, these are probably actual plushies. I guess why would they be made? You know, like... Yeah. Like, or why... <laughs> isn't the resemblance uncanny? They're my life-size plushies. Yeah, why need so many of them? Life-size plushies? I was planning to hit the big time with these. That's why I'm making them like crazy. Hmm. I don't trust this. It's not that they're I feel actually... Like... There's like a couple of things, like the most obvious thing is just like, oh, Monokuma has a really big ego, so he's like making a bunch of plushies. Right. Another one could be like a meta joke on how popular Danganronpa is. Uh, yeah, it might not actually play a big role into like the Into like the grand screen. Arguably it probably doesn't. Yeah. But. It's probably just a bit. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be rich. <clears throat> But you've made, you've made way too many. You're gonna be overstuffed when it's all said and done. Monokuma's life size plushie. I don't want it. <laughs> I do. Mm. Mm, I see. So this place is for manufacturing life size Monokuma plushies. <laughs> no. You don't say, Nanami. But what kind of messed up place is this? Wait. I feel like we just had this conversation, right? Don't look down at me. Do you really think it's just for life-size plushies? Okay, is this gonna answer our question from before? Ooh. There's a lot more Monokuma merch in the goods warehouse next door. Let's go find out the merch. What I should we wonder, do? I wonder if any of this merch is gonna play a role in I the know. murder. You know, or attempted murder. I just don't know murder. if any murders are more, gonna happen. Yeah, I know. More. Maybe attempted murder. But yeah. Honestly, I really don't feel like going. But what if there's some kind of important clue? Yep. <laughs> Typical Nanami. What are you gonna do? Yeah, you're right, then. We should go there for just a little while. Yeah. Alright, I guess it's our cue to leave. Yep, let's head on out. We'll head over what the next door. What happened to Rampa 1 after, like, the part where no one, like, what triggered, like, that trial? Do you remember we, how there was, like, a. It was the body from before. Remember with oh, Iksama right, Mokuro Iksama and everything? Mokuro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alright, now this is the goods warehouse. We can check it out. Oh, this is less hype. I was hoping there would be like, like expecting like a big store of some sort. I was expecting like Monokuma like, like toasters and posters and like stickers and like pens. Yeah, something and... not just all packed up in boxes and everything. Yeah. Without thinking, I peeked into the pile of stacks of cardboard boxes. There's a Monokuma calendar, a Monokuma sandbag, and even a Monokuma guitar. First, there was the Monokuma archive in the funhouse. Now there's a plushie factory and all these goods. Yeah. How full of himself is he? Mascot popularity doesn't last forever. I gotta earn the big bucks while I can. This is very Japanese. Yeah. This is very Japanese. A mascot that isn't popular anymore is like a piece of candy without any sugar. In other words, it has no reason for existing. Dang, that's harsh. There's a lot of mascots in Japan. Yeah, lots of them. He's starting to talk even crazier. Okay. Well, let's explore Whoa. around. Whoa. Whoa, it scrolls so fast and it's inverted scrolling too. Interesting. All right, tons, tons of, of books. books. There's a bunch of books stacked up high. What in the world are these? Are these the calendars? Monokuma's poetry collection? How stupid. Who the heck is going to read this crap? Wait, I want to try clicking it again. Oh, never mind. There's another book here, too. Let's see. Monokuma's most precious moments. That's the actual title of the book. <laughs> but it's a collective nude photos. What? What? Monokuma is already naked. I know. <laughs> what? That was an interesting conversation. That was an interesting exchange. Okay, yeah, we can take a look at it I'll again. I'll see if it allow us like to read it or anything. Yeah. And photography, uh, okay. I don't even feel like turning the pages. Okay, okay never mind then. Um, what else is there to check out? Camera, uh, what is this? Oh, it's the monitor. Yeah. I couldn't see it, so it looked like some sort of like gold Special thing in the back. Thing. Yeah. But, no, it's just a monitor. It's not like we even find Monokuma medals from doing that. Okay, all this stacked up stuff is a bunch of CDs. Hmm, I thought they were gonna be video games, but they're just music CDs. Dog Not every puppy puppy face. Enemies. <laughs> Shout out to the emote in the uh, Discord. In the Discord, if you haven't joined the Discord, join the Discord. <laughs> yeah. The jacket says Monokuma's collection of songs and ballads. Is he planning to release an album? 
character songs are all the rage these days, but I'm not all that interested in derivative works like that. I can almost guarantee you that was translated from Dojin. Oh. I can almost guarantee you that was an attempt at translating Dojin. <laughs> the derivative works? Yeah. Yeah. Like fan works or uh -huh. like not be like official, yeah, like, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. fan made stuff. I've never heard of a mascot selling his own character songs. Plus, it looks like he's already produced his hundredth song. A hundred already? That's a lot of character songs. See, the hundredth track is a festive psycho pop dance rap that he performs with all his might. I don't know what psycho pop is too well, but apparently that's kind of like the art style of Danganronpa. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. I hadn't heard the term before, but. Yeah, I don't really know how to really describe it. Psycho pop, kind of like funky, very like lots of different colors and stuff. Oh, okay. Um, but like, is it like the, the art style of Danganronpa when they're doing their like special cuts or like the Yeah, more or less. Cut? Okay. Yeah. That makes more sense. I don't even know where to begin. I also could be totally wrong, of course. I'm sure you guys have heard the term more often than I have. Uh, we have those, these, like, the panels. These random, the panels. Those panels, those monokuma panels. Oh, the monokuma panel. This looks like a monokuma panel, but why so many? Q monokuma. Yep. I was thinking about using these to decorate the stores that sell my merch and make them look all boom. Then they'd stand out, you know? No store would sell your stuff. Of course not, you're such a fool. But if Monokuma's ruling the world, he can then make they every have store. To. Yeah. That's why I opened an official Monokuma shop. I'm thinking about opening chains all over the world. Of course, the main attraction will be my life-size Monokuma plushie. Can't believe you thought that far into the future when you made these. Your business is doomed to fail. <laughs> Whoa. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Enough already! You have no business sense anyway, so just stop it! Is this at Hinata or Monokuma? It's probably at Monokuma. Probably but it would be really Monokuma. funny if she came to the defense of Monokuma yeah, and was but there's like, no way Hinata, she's come. you have no idea how business works. Who are you to judge <sighs> Monokuma's life size plushies and. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, don't say that. Let's do our best together. We'll be as popular as Pogs were in the 90s. Um, don't you remember how long those stayed popular? Besides, if you're serious about opening a business, you've already committed a major mistake. Admittedly, not too on the or in the know with regards to pogs. Yeah, I don't. I'm thinking about those like those like jumpy things. Those are pogos. Oh, J.K. <laughs> uh, because there's no march of me. Oh, Mona, me, my little sister. Don't you know the Aesop's fable about the rabbit and the bear? No. I remember the the tortoise and the hare, but the rabbit and the bear. Oh, not a tortoise? A long, long time ago, there were two. There were these two old guys. Two old guys living together. The old guys thought rabbits aren't as popular as bears. The end. Oh my god! <laughs> Worst story ever. <laughs> this is really funny though. Huh? Did you even need the old guys in that story? So even if I made merch of you, it's pointless. A half pink rabbit is so lame, you don't even have one ounce of good fashion sense. You did this to me, you're the one who has no fashion sense. Oh no. <gasps> ora, ora, ora. Ora, ora, ora. Ora, ora, ora. Oh man. Dang. Dynamic punch. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> right into the trash can. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh! Oh my goodness, something just totally clicked. Guys, guys. All right, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. All right. If you've played it, and you've played as the Knuckles stages, when he does, when you jump in the air and hit B, so that you like dive into the ground and then come back out, he it sounds like he says "ora." I never realized that was like an onomatopoeia thing. That was like an actual like Japanese onomatopoeia, or let alone that it was this. What does it mean? I don't know. It's kind of like some sort of like effort-inducing thing. Oh. Uh, okay. It does. It's kind of like as he comes out of the ground, so it's probably uppercut-ish. Oh, can I ask your Japanese teacher tomorrow? Yeah, I guess so, but, huh, interesting. Okay. What a hopeless way of snapping back! Sorry I've never, like, figured out Monomi's voice. I feel like I switch every time. <laughs> but honestly, I can't help but feel like I might have made too many panels. So, whoever wants to decorate the room, please do it as much as you like. Come on, what are you waiting for? No, we're not going to do that for you. Hinata, let's run! <laughs> she looks so concerned. You're right. Wait, we oh, never we didn't even get to, to investigate the, the last thing. We ran out of the warehouse, narrowly avoiding Monokuma's plan for inventory disposal. 
Wait, can we go back? We'll, we'll try to go back and check yeah. that thing on the left. But um, if not, it's probably not the end of the world. It's like you just got tired. <sighs> oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Running so so little. That'd be like us sprinting up somewhere. I know. <laughs> I'd be, yeah, I'd be so tired and you'd be like, fine. Okay, we can check out this last little thing on the left. What is the symbol? No, it's just a fan, I think. Yeah. There are a bunch of cardboard boxes stacked on top of each other, and there are various goods inside them. There are even household appliances and musical instruments. They're probably used for packaging goods before they're shipped. Looks like they're waiting to be shipped, but I don't think these are ever going to leave the island. Okay, should we try talking to Nanami and see if she says anything? Yeah, we can do that. She's probably gonna tell us we can go, but... It's like I can tell just from the ambience <laughs> that there are no important clues here. Well, at least we confirmed that. Well, at least we got some, like, fun. I think the idea is, like, if you talk to Nanami first, then you just leave, but then you lose out on the funny little, like... Oh, those little, thing. like... Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Is there anything else worth looking at here? Oops. Uh, didn't want to do that. Uh, tab. I don't think there's anything else to look at. I agree. Okay. Let's um, go outside. Yeah. All right, and then we'll move on to the next thing. Yeah. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I love the music from this island. Oh yeah, she's been raving. We were about talking it. about I it like right it before, too. and like, whoa! I'm really surprised you like it so much. This. Yeah. No, okay, man. Okay. No, man. And then that's yeah. definitely Korean food. Yeah. Is that Chinese? I mean, arguably Chinese and Japanese. Uh, it's like bird. <laughs> Right? Meat. Mm -hmm. it's, it, the first one is for yaku, or like grilled. The second one is for bird. The third one is meat. meat. And the fourth one is. is store. No, is okay. it store? I can't read it that well. Maybe we'll yeah. get a better view of it once we go inside. Agreed. Um, Let's go here. I'm excited. Oh, yo. I will bet. No, Odi was at the military base. I was going to say Odi would be here. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't be too surprising. This is where I would spend all my time. Wow, it looks so nice. That looks so nice. Look at the monocoma eating ramen. Oh my god, ramen. the monocoma eating ramen. Oh my goodness, um, that's so cool. Okay, now we get a better look at it. I don't recognize that character too well. The, very, the one at the very end? Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know it either. That last one. The ones in the back also look like kanji as opposed to Chinese. This second one looks different too. It's not, it's like bird plus something else. Yeah. I don't know what that that radical on the left part, right? That's yeah, what's yeah, kind of yeah, giving yeah, you a little yeah. difficulty, yeah. Strange. Okay, well, regardless, we probably shouldn't dwell on that. We're both just like, let's flex our language. Flex language. Is there a Monokuma hiding somewhere around here? Wait, try clicking the Monokuma eating the ramen. There's no way. Are you kidding me? Hey, yo! That's supposed to be a hidden Monokuma. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. I can't even believe that that's a hidden Monokuma. Alright, well, let's start off by chatting with Kuzidiu. <laughs> I was wondering who was lured here by the smell. I expected Ori, though. Not, not you. you, yeah. I wasn't lured by the smell or anything. <laughs> Looks like the street is full of food vendors, but as you can see, there's no customers or staff. Only the food is here. It's like a spirited way. Yeah, actually, though. Normally, a street like this would be bustling with activity, but there's no one here. It's actually pretty creepy to think about. All right, let's look at the food. Oh. Yeah. Oh, is there is literally it? like? Can we literally not look at any of the food? Can we literally not look no. at anything else? No. <sighs> That's so. That's so lame. Yeah. Wow. I actually know my place like this. It takes me back to when I would gather earnings. Earnings. It's nothing. People who live honest lives are better off not knowing. Wait, let's try talking to it again. Oh, what do you think something? Something like? else. Okay, okay. No, nope, guess not. Nandemone. <laughs> okay. If you guys can read Korean, you should tell us what that is. Yeah, if, would appreciate it. Well, watch it not be Korean and we're just gonna look really stupid. Yeah, that's very possible. I, I don't know. I, it looks Korean I, to me. I mean, you know Chinese. I know Japanese. Yeah. Like, well enough to know what, like, it would look like. Right? Yeah, I feel like I've seen enough Korean on all my K-Beauty products <laughs> that I should know what it looks like. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, I mean, that, that, looks, that Korean. looks very Korean to me, but regardless. Pots just be like Bibimbap and we're just stupid. Yeah. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Is that really all there is? No, we thing? haven't. No. We had to have missed something. Seeking Industries. Seeking Industries. Huh, interesting. interesting. Let's take a look. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, Whoa, this is really cool. Of course, Soldo's here. Yeah. 
There's a bunch of strange machines lined up in all directions. It feels very sci-fi. Hmm. I kind of wish the background weren't just black. Agreed. Sea King Industries. Huh? Huh? They're a company that specializes in manufacturing electric insulation and other machine parts. They're a mid-sized company with only 100 employees, but they're the biggest corporation on Jabberwock Island. And this place looks like a research facility. For a mid-sized company, this is a pretty nice facility. Who is that in the corner doing research or whatever? Oh. It looks automated. But, like... It looks like a bunch of, like, just limbs. It doesn't look like a person, you know? Yeah. No, I, I was gonna say that. That's why it looks, like, automated, but... Yeah. Uh... I guess so. I only read about them in a pamphlet next to the reception desk. Besides, the size of the company isn't the issue here. This company obviously doesn't make machine parts, so just what the heck are they making here? Oh, I trust Sola. Yeah, he's right. It looks... It's like they're making something more dangerous. It looks like they're making Mona Beasts, to be honest, if you look oh, on the left yeah. side. It seems like it might be a good idea to thoroughly investigate this place. Okay, thanks to the clue, Donald Rampa, to look at everything. Yeah. That looks very Mono Beast. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> this machine is making another machine? The finished product looks like it's modeled after a four-legged animal. Oh, yeah. Hey, doesn't that animal-looking machine remind you of anything? I don't know, man. Are you talking about the Mono Beasts? Is there any chance that those Mono Beasts were created here? The Mono Beasts were created here? I mean, it wouldn't be that, like, crazy, right? Yeah, I mean, it would be really hard to transport, you know? Yeah. Yep, that's what this place is for. No matter how much you insist it's a game, people won't be convinced if a place like this doesn't exist, right? Huh? Is that a meta joke? I feel like that was a meta joke. It went right over my head, though. Yeah. That's why it's just fine. Well, what the heck did he mean by that? He wasn't making any sense at all. Doesn't matter who's convinced, because I'll never be convinced. I mean, this place is for manufacturing machine parts. Why are they able to create such a dangerous robot in a place like this? Does this mean Monokuma took over this place and modified to do this? I don't think he did. Hmm. Or... I don't know. Or, or, maybe... They were making dangerous weapons beforehand, and Monokuma just changed it so they would make Mono Beasts. But it wasn't like they were making machine parts beforehand and are now making Mono Beasts. It was they were making dangerous stuff before, and now he switched into something else that was differently dangerous. Gotcha. That's fair. I mean, cool. it... You okay? Yeah, sorry. The chair I was just, like, sitting on, like, <laughs> caved in on itself. So... <laughs> I'm good. We're all good. I, I, thought, I thought for a second that I broke it, and I was like, I'm not that fat. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so at this point, it looks very much like Monokuma just took over a pre-existing island. Yeah, agreed. Where, you know, like, all the random things that are here, like the supermarket, the hotel, like, like all the these- Like, in the fun house, like, he rechanged it. Right, he obviously modified what was already here, but I doubt he built everything here. Oh, agreed. With, like, the intention of all this, agreed. right? I think he took over, I think Monomi- was also uh, theory. Theory. I think that um, Future Foundation had this place beforehand. It was Monami's place, which is why Monami had that house on the amusement park. She may have been like an attraction or something like that. Like people would go to the amusement park and like meet Monami and like take pictures mm -hmm. of her and stuff like that. And then um, Future Monokuma. Foundation was doing what? And then Monokuma. Yeah, and then Monokuma came, took over, and then turned it into like a killing school trip and stuff like that. Gotcha. But you think Monomi then is part of the Future Foundation? I think so. I think I don't really think they're on the same side, but I do think yeah, they're both on bad sides. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I like it. Darn it, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, so what else do we want to look at? Uh, we can look at that. Apparently this over here. Yeah, it looks like a machine making another machine. Whoa. This automated machine looks like it's making something. It's like making a person. Is this a mannequin? Yeah, look at the eye part. Yeah. Huh, interesting. It? It's a humanoid machine. Is that a robot? I mean, it looks like a Wait girl. a minute. What if... What if the traitor is a it's robot? It's a robot. I was just thinking that. I was like, it's probably a... It looks like a girl, so, like, who looks like that, kind of? Yeah, I mean, or this basically introduces the possibility. We're probably way overshooting this. I know. But one of us is a robot created by Monokuma. Yeah. Right? Oh, that's crazy. Crazy, man. Seriously, how can they make robots? 
<laughs> Just oh. how far did technology advance without me knowing? Soda. Do you think Need I was made here? Do Likely. That. It's a similar humanoid robot. It's possible, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But why would a company that manufactures machine parts have access to this kind of technology? They clearly didn't just manufacture machine parts, yeah. Solda. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this place is somewhat connected to the Future Foundation, too. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Not suspicious okay, at all. I don't think all. there's anything else to look at in here. Maybe we can talk to Solda one more time to see if he has anything new to say. Maybe a plushie? And then we can go in there. There was like that huge hallway that we walked through. So maybe yeah. <laughs> Hey, Solda, get a hold of yourself. Huh? Huh? Why? Why? Because you just started laughing all of a sudden. <laughs> well, obviously, what else am I going to do except laugh? I mean, it's just so childish. Well, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, there's a computer over there, so I started snooping around to see if I could find any clues. Whoever was using this computer must have been sending emails to his buddy or something. Oh. Ooh. He was probably trying to write a manga or something. He sent one of his story ideas to his buddy. I, I bet it sounds very similar to this game right now. Yeah, I was going to say. It was such a horrible, delusional story. I was so embarrassed to read it that it gave me goosebumps. Delusional story? So what was written in the email anyway? Well, I'll start with the idea for the story. Apparently, global riots are occurring in various regions around the world. Oh, jeez. This sounds just like the, it's going to be the end of DR1. Yeah. Wow. And these riots were caused by high school students. I mean, seriously, that's not realistic at all. I don't know if they're referring to Mukuro and Inoshima. Or like... As the ultimate despair. Or... Or... If the survivors from DR1 caused oh. riots against the Monokuma and everything. Oh. And this is from Monokuma's perspective, the riots, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that too. Oh. So these riots just keep growing as people grow more dissatisfied and frustrated with society until eventually it spreads like an infectious disease all over the world. Oh. Footage of the riots started getting circulated and strange incidents start occurring one after another. A hopeless anxiety instantly spreads throughout the world as the end of the world gets closer and closer. Okay, maybe we were wrong. Maybe yeah. this actually is just the spread of uh, despair disease. Yeah, or, uh, or like it may have been describing the events that would showcase in the end of year one. Yeah, yeah, but like not what we were just talking about. Yeah, yeah, not like the people from DR on yeah. the riots. End of the world? I know, right? It sounds like something a lame high school band would think of as a song title. Oh, I feel like that's a reference to the song It's the End of the World as We Know It. Oh, yeah. I don't remember who that's by. I don't know. It's like, it's the end. Is it REO Speedwagon? Whoa. I maybe know, not. Yeah. Maybe not. Probably not, it's actually. Like, it's the end of the world. Yeah, we know it. exactly. Okay. Um, whoever wrote this needs to come up with better story ideas because this wasn't realistic at all. I was thinking this also could be um, funny because it's like Dom and Rafa like making fun of its first game again. Maybe. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, students causing a ride on that scale is totally impossible. I'd never believe it for a second. I feel like they have to be referring to Inoshima. They have to be referring to... Well, they're obviously or, not all students. Or, remember the tragedy? All, like, the blood and everything in that classroom? Yeah. I feel like that, and the result of that... Oh, started calling all, causing all these riots? Yeah. Okay. I feel like that's what it is. And arguably, Inoshima and Mukuro might have been the ones to do that. To cause that, agreed. Right? Huh. Interesting. <laughs> but I learned a valuable lesson. I should always delete embarrassing emails right away. That's the important lesson. I know, right? Hey, about that, are you sure it's okay to say that it's just a made-up story? <laughs> uh, of course. I mean, unrealistic things might happen in real life from time to time, but... <laughs> There's no way this is real. It's more impossible than a notebook that kills people just by writing in it. Oh, <laughs> shout out to Death shout Note. Shout out to Death Note. You're right. That's actually really funny. That is funny. It's just a lot of unimaginable things have kept happening to us, so maybe I'm getting a little confused. But the world ending? There's no way something so unbelievable could actually happen. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Well, at any rate, it's clear now, isn't it? What's clear? Uh... This used to be Sea King Industries, but it's not anymore. Yeah, After this island became uninhabited, Monokuma took over this place and modified it without permission. He did all this just to shock us. That's the reason I doubt uh, it. I don't agree with you, Solda. It's not so weird. This whole time, he's been doing similar stuff to us. But why? 
Ya ven, Akuria. Maybe there's a bunch of crazy rich dudes who are into this stuff. Hey, that's my fetish. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think... I think he is kind of onto something here, right? Oh, like the Future Foundation is made up of a bunch of crazy rich dudes who are just like watching people burn. Yeah, I mean, remember when DR1? With the whole like, there's an audience that yeah, enjoys yeah. watching this. I feel like that's what that's. Or we were talking to. about maybe they were forced to rewatch it. Maybe, maybe, maybe they were not forced necessarily to watch it. they were first. Yeah. Maybe they just want to. Right. Because they're sick and twisted. Yeah. I yeah. mean, like, and we know that those people exist, right? Yeah. So, I the feel world like that might be referring to that. Yeah, I feel like that might be what this is a reference to. Uh -huh. They're the ones who are making us kill each other. Those bakas get off on watching kids kill each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on. Now that I said that out loud, it, that's actually a terrible assumption. I mean, if that's true, then our fates are in the hands of those rich, perverted bakas. It sounds like something that would happen in a work of fiction. But the thought of it actually happening in reality is definitely unsettling. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is very much DR1. Yeah. Right? Interesting. So it got pretty meta there. I right? know. Like we, start, we started talking about the Future Foundation, how DR1 is very real in this universe too. Yeah, yeah. They're not They're not like parallel universes or anything. I don't right. think either of us really thought that that was the case. Yeah, no. But like, Just still. Just in case. As like another, yeah. I still want to know what happened to Tolgami. Yeah. You know, I feel what like Tolgami, to Tolgami? Tolgami is like the bridge in my opinion. Oh, I agree. You know, like he's what connects like the previous game to the certain to this game. Yeah, at least most directly, right? Yeah. And I feel like if we uncover that secret, so much will become clearer. But anyways, I guess we'll head out and then do you think there's anything else Ew. to investigate? Uh no, because I think Kazudio is about to bring us to right, the next thing. Right about to take us on to the next event, but that next event will be in, in the, the next, next episode. episode. Man, this is uh, a good episode. This is a good episode. We explored the island. Exploring. There's a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Um, it's it's very mono monotone, kind of gray. I like that street food area. I love the street food area so much. It's easily my favorite area yeah, on this yeah, island. Yeah. I would spend all my time there. I know I already said that, but I would spend all my time there. <laughs> I would just go eat food, enjoy the lights, like. Yeah, it would be a ton of fun. But and then we got a little bit. Got a little bit meta with the future. Yeah, we started, started dealing I'm so with curious. some this of those chapter, larger issues. This chapter is very much going to be about the larger issues, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. We even saw, you know, with the document right away. Mm -hmm. We were talking about the factory, and it's like, is it really just for the plushies, right? Yeah, like, yeah. What's going on on a larger scale of things? What's going on in the seeking um, industries? Seeking industries. The and food that thing story, is probably not going to be important, right, which is right. sad. That story about, like, yeah, you know, the emails. pretty much the end of DR1. Yeah. It's very real. It's very real. I'm excited to see where it goes. I'm excited to speculate. I'm excited to try and piece it all together. Uh-huh. I'm excited. But I remember when we were piecing stuff together for DR1. It was so fun. It was so intense. Like. Okay. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next episode. But until then, this is Movement Night Zero. And Lizzie. And this mission is complete.